So we're driving along a uh, little desert road just out the back of Dimboola and we just had a hell of a laugh to each other because last night we decided that we're going to get up early and we're going to send it. We're going to go through a few towns and do a few little stops but we wanted to be in Murray Bridge tonight and uh, we had a hell of a laugh to one another because we got to Dimboola and we've been here for hours because uh, the locals were that friendly and things that we got invited to see and places we got told that we have to go and have a look at that are fascinating. And we're not even an hour from where we camped last night <laughs> and it's lunchtime. So, you know, we've both just made a pact that now, from now on, we don't try and work out tomorrow. We just get up and go and see what happens. It's the best way to travel. Just wing it and do whatever you want. Not even five minutes down the road, we've stopped again. We pulled over again. We we're just talking about going to the shop, you know, which is about half an hour away and getting a nice milk drink to just soothe the thirst and some chocolate. And then we thought, hmm, there's uh, chocolate in the fridge in the caravan and there's a milk drink in the trusty ingle that has been an absolute asset on this trip we put that in the back before we left but um yeah we had all the goods on board and here we are talking about our next half an hour on the road we already had it so bugger it we stopped again here we are just enjoying life just goes to show how uh, how small the world really is and how we all know each other. Just ran into this guy in Dimboola, been mates now for about seven or eight years through other friends that live in Bannockburn. So this is Robbie. Robbie fixes a lot of farm equipment. And uh, yeah, we've just come out of a little desert out the back of um, Dimboola and ran into this fella and his, and his son who's trying to hide from us. He's spending the day with dad, hey? out there fixing all the farm equipment to um, so the farmers can keep going to work and do what they do for the community. So thanks for your services, Rob. Give Hi. yourself a plug, mate. Who are you and what you do? Uh, Rob Nelson from Nelson Field Services. Yeah. Six oh. headers. New Holland headers, good ones. Yeah, no, good work, mate. We appreciate your service. So Margaret and I were at Robbie's wedding about uh, seven years. Three, three years ago. Three years ago. Wow, was it? So about three years ago, but... Uh, yeah, up in, uh, that was Lake, Stop. Lake, Lake Boga. Lake Boga, and I haven't seen him since. So here we are, we've ran into him in the main street of Timbula. It's good to see you, brother. No worries. All right, cool stuff. So you're not leaving me behind, Dad. No way. <laughs> Just pulled up at the Dimboola Bakery. Just uh, found an appropriate park. And this obviously used to be uh, a car yard. Back in the day, they used to sell the Tiranas there, the Holdens and the Monaros. Man, would they have sold some gear out of here. That's the old Holden dealership right there in Dimboola. There's some history in this town, that's for sure. So now it's all full of the old uh, farming equipment. So this is when they used to pull the, uh, when they used to, the, um, plough the paddocks with the old horse and cart so they'd either stand behind this model and walk or he'd stand on something that was getting dragged on the ground and that was his break up the top or adjusting it up and down this one here the guys used to sit in the back of that and they'd have and they'd have uh, their ropes and straps going to the horses or the cows or whatever they they were using back in the day 
to pull those tines through the through the soil and make their turn the soil over to plant their seeds to to, to grow their crops so there's quite a few different uh, types here there's there's one over there that you can see the blade on that one that's like a, a really early model road grader they'd flatten the roads with that and you can see it on the sign actually it's a road grader, there you go. So you can see the blade on it, it would uh, be pulled by you know, cows or, or, or horses. And um, that's how they used to make the roads, the dirt roads nice and flat back in the day. And uh, there's a different sort of plow system over here. But you can see they've got different plows on that one there. It's all about moving the soil off to one side, that one. Same with that one out the back. You know, it's a plough that moves all the soil to one side. So, yeah, a bit of, bit of history here in the old uh, Tirana, Holden and Monaro car yard. In Dimboola, there's a big, uh, big lake up here. It's um, very well known, Dimboola. It's quite a nice area people here are lovely there's a national park over the back there's a sanctuary you can see it over the back and there's uh, there's a sign there that tells you um, pretty much where things are what direction Alice Springs Ayers Rock um, New York and it also tells you how many kilometers away Brisbane Ballarat Geelong Geelong's the, the second one from the top on the left. Um, yeah, tell, it's north, south, east, west, Dimbula with the kangaroo on top. Um, yeah, it's time for a nice yummy Dimbula meat pie that Margaret's just got out of the bakery.